Hi, this is a video response to the Dorkalicious video about global warming. Um, while I was in Peru a few months ago, I was able to see some of the effects of global warming firsthand in that a lot of mountains in the Andes that at one time were constantly covered with snow are now only seasonally covered with snow. And some of the mountains that were covered with snow seasonally now are not covered with snow at all. And you might say, why does that matter? Well, while the mountains aren't covered with snow, they're not reflecting heat back into outer space. So the whole area is, is then absorbing heat and, and that is helping heat the planet. So this accelerates the process and it creates a loop whereby things are going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. Um, no one in their right mind, apart from maybe some particularly stubborn and uh, particularly dumb world leaders, could possibly dispute the fact that there is now global warming for whatever reason, whether it's a, a natural cycle of things or um, whether it's man-made, it's there. And there's no doubt that w for whichever reason it's happening, we're not helping matters, we're increasing that problem. So it's pretty important that we do something about it pretty soon. And also while I was travelling this year, I visited Easter Island, which was a place that at one time was used as an example of what happens when uh, human beings overuse the resources around them. And for years and years it, it was used as an example of that. Uh, but now things are turning around there. There's reforestation, they've brought plants back that would extinct in the wild from seeds and they're replanting them and it's a prime example of how if everybody gets on board and does something about environmental problems we can have an effect but it literally takes everyone in the community and in this instance the the, the problem is worldwide so it's literally everyone worldwide at the moment um, most of the effects of global warming are felt by people in underdeveloped countries and they're, they're not the people causing the problems, they're, they're the ones suffering, the ones causing the problems aren't really feeling it and sometimes if you're, if you're living as I do in a country that's a long way north um, of the equator and it's quite a cold climate, you might think, well, you know, if the climate goes up two or three degrees, well, that's a good thing for me. But in reality, the way weather cycles work, um, it probably isn't. And global warming doesn't necessarily mean that your bit of the world is going to get a little bit warmer. It is more likely to mean it gets a whole lot wetter. It could even mean that it gets colder as the weather patterns switch. So it's pretty important that we all do something about this and I guess that starts with awareness and that's why I'm making this video and I'm asking you to watch Dorkalicious's video about global warming and draw your own conclusions and try and think what you can do to improve the situation because if you just leave it to governments, governments can make regulations but regulations take decades to have an effect on anything and it's only if the world changes its behaviour that, that we can maybe slow global warming. No one's, I, I doubt very much, will stop it but it, it may make the difference between your children and your grandchildren and your grandchildren's grandchildren. It might make a, a drastic difference to their lives and the amount they suffer for what we're doing now. So that's just a little bit of food for thought. Uh, I felt it was necessary to make a video comment to this video. So that's all I have to say for now.
and I, I probably will say something else on the subject in the future. Uh, so, see you later guys, and watch Dorkalicious's video. Thank you.